Good day! Today, we will perform a firmware update on the BM83. We will use the BM83 evaluation board. Let's check the user's guide for instructions. Let's go to section 5. And we can see that there are two options. Let's start with firmware update over UART. These are the jumper settings. And similarly, my evaluation board is configured. The only thing we need to change is this switch. Let's put it in the on position and connect the power. Now let's download the package from the product page. The latest one is version 1.3.0. I have it here on my computer. And there are two firmware options. This is the audio transceiver mode, and this is the usual. And then let's see the instructions. I think it is better to have this. And, all right. We will use the IS update tool. These are the instructions. Once connected, browse for the image. This is within the package. I'm speak. SPP, we want to use the host mode because we will communicate with the BM83 directly. There are three firmware involved. This is the DSP firmware. This is the UI tool or configuration firmware. And this is the hex file itself. Let's open it and update. Would you like to keep the SP code? No. By the way, if we browse here, we can combine these three firmware. If we select it all, the update button will be disabled. However, we can rehex. Let's disconnect first and change the image number to 3 because we will use 3 hex files. The UI tool configuration, the DSP firmware, and the hex file itself. File name, this will be live test 1. We're going to use the BM83 full image for general DFU. Let's apply. Convert success. Now, and then browse for the hex file. This is the live test. And update again. Now, all the three settings will be programmed to the BM83. This usually is needed if you have converted from different firmware versions. We're finished. So let's disconnect this and verify if it is really successful. I'm going to power off my board and switch it into application mode. I just changed the switch. On the same package, we can go to command tool and use it to communicate with our module. If you open the port, it will communicate there. Let's check for the information. There we go. It fills up the details. If we go to system, we can issue the power on command. Now, the BM83 evaluation board is on. However, we cannot connect to it yet. We need to enter pairing mode. Now, those blinking lights are your friend because the BM83 is now discoverable. Let me try to connect with it using my phone. So you can see here, it is now connected and the tool crashed. There we go. If we get the information, you can see the random address of my phone. Oops. There's the name of the phone and there's, these are the states. Now we verified that it is connected. What if you want to configure your module? We can close the 
speak command set tool. We can go to the config tool. This would be the message. Here. These different types can be found on the application note or on the release notes within this package. Let's proceed with SPP version and host MCU mode. These are all the configuration settings of the module. These are a lot, so just try to find what you need. I would want it to power on via UART. It is what we saw earlier. This is the UART settings. Perhaps we can change this to a quick testing. The DSP configuration tool will now pop up. You can save it and just close that one. All right, it closed already. Yes. Config tool live test one. Now we can go to IS update again. Put the board in firmware update mode. It is formally called the test mode. We can connect. Update. This should be quick. Yes, I want to keep device paired information. It's now finished. Application mode. Close this. Alright, it is properly configured. Thank you.